What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're gonna work on the truck a little bit. I, uh, there are some pesky chrome pieces on the front that I want to get rid of and so uh, it should be an easy process but let's get the truck inside the garage and get the car out and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so the chrome. Um, aside from this being an issue, uh, these are also an issue. Uh, so we're going to take care of that today. I don't ever really use fog lights, but um, that's just one more chrome piece on there that I got to get rid of. So uh, we're going to go ahead and install some new ones and get those off of there. So the ones we're going to install are Morimoto uh, XD LED fog lights. They are black housinged. Um, so these should look pretty sick. They are really good fog lights from what I've seen uh, But like I said, I don't ever really use fog lights, but the chrome will be gone <laughs> And now that I think about it the only time I ever should have used fog lights was um, I had a job one time I worked at a railroad place and it was across a big mountain and there was it was the foggiest mountain I've ever seen um, the most fog I've ever driven through um, weekly it was just super foggy all the time and um, it was so foggy that there was nothing that really helped. Uh, fog lights didn't work. Um, headlights obviously didn't work. Um, there wasn't anything really that helped. Uh, so I just turned my headlights off and drove with the park lights and followed the cars in front of me. And um, yeah, that's how we got across that mountain. There was usually a line of us <laughs> trying to get through the fog, but let's get rid of this chrome. All right, so here are the Morimoto fog lights. Let's get them unwrapped here. Um, actually, hang on one sec. There we go. Much better. Um, but yeah, there they are. Black housing. Um, super sick. Look really cool. Um, so yeah, let's get off these stockies. Uh, we'll do a comparison just to be, you know, fancy about it. We'll show what the stock ones look like and then we'll show what these look like. Uh, they're obviously going to be way, way brighter because the stock fog lights are kind of crap. Uh, but let's take a look. And there we go. There's the stock ones. Um, kind of yellowish, um, orange-ish. Uh, but that's just halogen, I guess. Um, but, yeah. Alright, so I've turned the wheel uh, all the way out. There's really only a couple bolts here. So there's one here, uh, this little plastic thing here, uh, one right here. Um, that's really all you need to take off to get this off, um, or at least room to get in there to the fog light. But um, I'm going to try to take off as much as I can to get as much space as I can, uh, just to keep from having to hold one piece back and all that kind of jazz so let's get this stuff off and uh, go from there but should be pretty simple okay so we got it off uh, like I said one bolt there one bolt down there uh, you turn this thing uh, half a turn and it'll come right out um, I did go ahead and pop off the one back in there but it would appear that this is all I can get of this um, I'm gonna keep looking on the bottom here for a second and see because it seems to be getting caught on something right down here um, I took that screw out down there wait over there, uh, but it's still not letting go so um, There's got to be something somewhere that's holding it up So uh, I'm gonna try to find that real quick and if not we would just get the fog light is just right there uh, So shouldn't be too bad Okay, we figured it out. Um, so this little piece right here uh, you undo the screw that's in it but this clips in and holds the plastic piece to something else inside there. So you have to squeeze this from the back side, like stick your hand in there, squeeze these top two clips, and then the plastic piece will come up over that. So that's what was holding it in there. Um, we also found a bee's nest. Uh, that fell out, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> not. Um, but yeah, so now we got all this space. Uh, so we should be able to get in there pretty easily. So there's a clip, just like any other light. Uh, you just unplug that. And then uh, there's one screw holding it on. 
So we will get that screw off of there. It's on the top right. It's a fairly short little guy, but yeah, there you go. Now, grab the fog light and out it comes. So, pretty simple. Looks like it's getting moisture in it. Well, it's a good thing we're changing them anyway. <laughs> And so here is the difference, and boy, what a difference. Uh, <laughs> I think, I don't know what it is about chrome on cars or whatever, but I just think it makes it look cheap. Like I know chrome is supposed to look like, I don't know, shiny and cool and all that stuff, but I just think it makes it look cheap. Like these look so much more like legit, and I don't, I don't know, I just don't like chrome. So, bye-bye. And so also on these, on the fog lights themselves, uh, the green wire I have read is positive. So these don't come put together. They provide you with a plug-in, so just make sure you put the positive um, to the green wire. So let's grab the clip and get it lined up and see what we gotta do. Okay, so you wanna make sure that the red wire goes into the right-hand side, because we just tested that. So it plugs right in, should anyway. Yeah. You wanna make sure that the rubber grommet goes all the way inside. That went in pretty well. And so then we just hit this with the negative side. Boop, everything's in there. Sounds snug, you'll probably hear it click. Uh, that's how you know it's in there far enough, but I don't know if you heard that or not, but uh, yeah. So let's go plug this into the outlet and see if it works. And there we go, it works. I'm gonna attempt to show you why there's only one screw that holds this fog light on. Um, if you can see that right there, um, there are two little notches that the fog light will, oh there we go, that's a better angle. Um, the fog light will slide into those two and then that holds it in place and so that one little screw holds it down up top up here and that's all it needs so when you're putting it in uh, you make sure that you slide these two prongs here into those in those little slots and you're good to go all right we got the fog light in there and so see you put these two little two little clips right in there and it should slide right into place just like that. All right, seems simple enough. Uh, let's hop to the driver's side. We'll throw that one on and then uh, we'll back it out and see how it looks. Uh, maybe adjust them, not sure. But uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, look at that. Um, I'll tell you what, they look sick, um, but what it did do was make these stand out that much more, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix that uh, sooner rather than later. Um, I wanted to take them apart, but I have never done that before, and that kind of sketches me out being my only set of headlights, so maybe I'll try to find a, a set from a junkyard or something like that to test out and take apart and all that kind of stuff and get used to doing it because um, I really don't want to do it on my only set of headlights uh, for the truck so um, yeah but we need to do that as soon as possible because while this looks super sick that looks poopy <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it for this one. Um, if you have any questions, drop them down below. I'd be glad to help. Uh, but this is a super easy install. Everything is plug and play. It all mounts to the stock locations. Um, it's very high quality. It's just, it goes right in. So, uh, but if you have any questions, wanna talk about it, I'd be glad to chat. So yeah, drop a comment down there. Don't forget to do all the other YouTube things while you're down there. It helps out a bunch. I hate that it does, but it does. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. We've got some other things planned. We are gonna move. Uh, that is a concrete thing now, so. Uh, but we still have to get everything boxed up, uh, packed up. Everything's got to get out of here and into a truck <laughs> and on the road. So I might film some of that. Uh, but yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.